wait a minute. What, what's going on now? So Ryback coming out. It looks like it's going to be Ryback and Ziggler. And Goldberg's got another match. Is Goldberg about to wrestle twice in one night? No, he's not. No, he's not. Wake up. Oh, shit. Ryback with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, it is Ryback with Dolph Ziggler taking on Goldberg at WrestleMania. Oh, no, it's Cesaro. Okay. And Cesaro is the WWE champion. So my guess is Ryback is about to win. And we're about to cash in on Ryback. As Cesaro is your WWE champion. Titus O'Neil is your big gold champion. Goldberg is now your United States champion. Will he walk away with one of those other titles? Let's find out. The following is a WWE Championship match set for one fall. Introducing first, he's the challenger from Sin City, Ryback. And his opponent, he is the reigning, defending WWE Champion from Lucerne. Oh, I can't even talk. From Switzerland, Antonio Cesaro. There we go. So here we go, Cesaro versus Ryback for the WWE Championship. I have to think this is going to get a little crazy. My guess is Goldberg's going to come out and try to screw us. Goldberg has got to have some plans here. Because, uh, you know, Goldberg, I'd be upset too if I faced him, beat him, and then he went on to be uh, in the, the main event match while I was in an undercard match. As over the top rope goes Cesaro, so Ryback and Ziggler working together. And, uh, oh, wow. A little bit of a pickle there, Dick. Is there on the outside? Is it, it doesn't look like it's a false count anywhere match. Are there DQs on? Match information. Match rules. So there's DQ on, but there's no, no count on the ring out. So I guess that's the only thing that's different with the rules here. All right, there are DQs. Okay. All right, so there's DQs. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is Vince McMahon doing out here? He came running out in the ladder match, too, and nailed CM Punk like he was trying to help us. Us is in uh, Goldberg. That's Vince McMahon distracting the referee. But now, what the hell is Brock Lesnar doing here? Brock Lesnar just fucking bum-rushed the ring and took out Vince McMahon. So on the outside, Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar, what the hell are these guys doing? Ryback is so confused now. I have no idea what the hell's going on. We've got all shit breaking loose between Vince McMahon, Brock Lesnar, Ryback. There's Vince McMahon taking off the uh, turnbuckle pad. Cesaro and Ryback are fighting the outside. Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar are fighting the outside. This is a side I never thought I would see. Oh, shit. F5. Brock Lesnar just F5. Vince McMahon. And then a belly-to-belly -belly on top of that uh, sledgehammer on the outside. So this is uh, kind of crazy to think about. The fact that Brock Lesnar just randomly rushed the ring. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just have to pretend he kept swinging him. Although that was the shorter one. Cesaro trying to get on a little bit of a roll right here. But uh, Ryback says, I don't think so. Ryback backs up, runs into him, goes flying. Now the championship is on the line. The only way to win this match is by a pinfall. Or submission. If you get disqualified or you get counted out, well, there are no count outs. It is champion's advantage, so Cesaro would retain the title. Uh-oh. He's setting up a meat hook. Feed me more. Feed me more. 
And there's the meat hook clothesline. So down goes Cesaro, and that'll do it. Your new WWE. Oh, shit, he kicked out. He just kicked out of that. The meat hook clothesline. He was smartly got in the ropes, but there he gets out of the way. Head smacks in there. Now, remember, Vince McMahon cleared that turnbuckle pad. There is no turnbuckle pad in that corner. And I think Ryback just realized it, so he throwed Cesaro. He just threw him off of that turnbuckle pad. So Vince clearly out here trying to help Ryback. But why? Now he's just smashing Cesaro's back into that exposed turnbuckle and then a big shot to the back. It's like it was a goddamn plan all along. Vince McMahon has got a, has got a thing that absolutely hates Cesaro. He thinks he has no charisma. He's coming out here to screw him. Ryback is going to be our new champion. Vince has had such a hard-on for him. There it is. Shell shock on Cesaro. So much for being your reigning defending champion. As Ryback, your new WWE champion. I never thought I would say that at WrestleMania. Look at that sight. Ryback has got the gold. Ryback has done it. He's overcame everything. He got threw off a of Hell in a Cell, Foley style. He got jackhammered on top of a Hell in a Cell, got pinned on top of the cell, and then was pushed through the cell into the ring. Ryback has overcame so much. Way to go, Ryback. I think that wraps up the story, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Goldberg is cashing in his money in the bank. Goldberg. My God, he's doing it. The following is a championship match at 401 fall. Cashing in his money in the bank briefcase. Oh, my God. Goldberg is going to do it. So here we go. Championship match. He is cashing in money in the bank. Will Goldberg be able to do it? Is Goldberg going to be the next WWE champion after everything from GM to competitor again? Goldberg. Is he about to jackhammer him one more time? The last time he did it, he sent Ryback into hell. Vince must have felt bad for him. So he gave him a title shot. And then he gave him the title shot. He beats him. He overcomes. He became his champion for the first time. And then Goldberg spoils it and cashes in his money in the bank. It's not over yet until the fat tubby sings. What the hell is Vince doing out here again? Vince McMahon is getting involved. I think Vince has got a plan. And I don't know what the hell that plan is. But Ryback just thrown off of those two. So what the hell is the Viper doing out here? Randy Orton, the Viper. I don't know what the hell the Viper's doing out here. As once again, all the hell is broken loose. As it looks like Vince is on the side of Goldberg. Randy is trying to even the odds with uh, Ryback. But then Dolph Ziggler's doing nothing. He's heavy. It's like the opposite. He was supposed to be his heavy. Instead, it's the complete opposite way. And now all oh, hell is broken. Lucy's trying to steal my roll pin. One. No, he kicked out. As uh, Randy Orton was trying to go for an RKO. Vince gets out of the way. That could have been RKO central right there. As Randy desperately trying to roll away. Randy Orton, as you can see, what the hell? Belly to belly goes flying. It's like Randy Orton is trying to uh, avoid this. He doesn't want to be a part of this at all. Look at him. He got involved when he shouldn't have. And now Goldberg's attacking him. Oh, man. This is uh, not a very good cash in. This is the kind of shit you would expect at WrestleMania 20. Backdrop. Oh, no, Goldberg. 
Goldberg's going to do it to him. He's got him above his head. And that'll do it. So your champion. One. Two. Wait, what the hell? Oh, Ryback capitalizes. Dolph Ziggler is getting involved. So Dolph Ziggler, who should even be out here, is allowing Ryback to come back. He's had the referee distracted, and now look what's going on. They're fighting on the outside. Ryback's bringing him back in. Goldberg just went flying to the outside. Must have hit his head a little bit. You can thank Dolph Ziggler for all this. Dolph Ziggler finally trying to even the odds. Goldberg going for the pin, but Dolph Ziggler just kind of tripped up the referee there right there and distracted him. Hey! Down goes Dolph Ziggler. Up goes Goldberg. He's got him up top. And there it is. One, two, three. So he gave it the best shot he had. Dolph Ziggler tried to... Uh, I love that sequence, though, where he slaps him and Dolph just falls off dead right into a jackhammer. From GM to champion, there it is. We didn't need the 619 emergency services because Goldberg is your brand new champion. Goldberg is going on to bigger and better things. Congratulations to the young kid. He uh, accomplished all his goals. Finally came back and uh, didn't really shit around. Didn't really fuck around. Really came in and put in the effort. And he is now your WWE champion. So good on Goldberg. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I think that's got to be it. You achieved the hard-cracked ending for ejecting Dolph Ziggler's offer for a match against Kane and Undertaker. I'll give you a hint for the next GM storyline. You vote for these guys. It's extremely... <laughs> or Jerry the King Lawler says this brand is... Edward to Del Rio, Undertaker, or John Cena. Message Brother Apple who you want for his GM of the next one. YouTuber votes count as 10 total votes. So apparently my vote counts as 10. I want Alberto Del Rio. It would be such a good story if Del Rio was GM. But there it is. Berg is GM in WWE 2K. 15, 14. I was going to say 15. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, my name is Toby Emo, and we will see you all later.